Hello, everybody. Oh my God, I missed Dev Talks so much. <laughs> Welcome everyone to Dev Talks AI and Innovation Humanity Reimagined. And thank you, uh, Mass Mutual Romania, for being the main partner of this first edition. Uh, also, I would like to thank Cognizance of Vision for being uh, our mobile stage partner this year. Uh, my name is Alex Bordet. I'm a full stack developer and also mobile developer, and I'd like you to welcome all to Dev Talks 2022. Um, the agenda for today uh, starts, uh, well, a bit late because of me, sorry, uh, but it starts with Alin Turku with an intro speech powered by Cognizance of Vision. And end somewhere at or probably at almost 5 p.m. Uh, with uh, Dmitry Vinik with measuring project health in open source. So I would like to uh, invite Alin, Alin Turku, mobile community manager um, at Cognizant for a really nice intro speech. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Uh, and welcome everybody to the mobile stage here at uh, Dev Talks. First, I want to thank you all for participating and especially to all the speakers who chose to share their knowledge today. I will briefly talk in the next 10 minutes uh, about the mobile app landscape after the COVID crisis as an intro. Uh, but first, uh, let me say something about me. So I'm Alin. I'm managing currently the largest mobile community in Romania with over 200 uh, developers, and I'm glad to see it growing every year. My background uh, is that of a mobile developer. I started working with Android since the really first versions of, uh, of Android. And although I've been speaking at various uh, tech events uh, during my career, this is my first 10 minute speech, so I'm quite nervous about that. <laughs> So let's start with the joke. Like when you're nervous, you start with a bad joke. So why did the mobile app user cross the street? Well, because he's mobile, right? <laughs> but in the past years, we haven't really always been mobile. Uh, due to COVID, uh, in a very short period of time, uh, the world went from being mobile to being stationary, uh, with the majority of us being at home. And given this economic hardship uh, that some industries faced, the uncertainty created by the, this pandemic situation and the fact that we were uh, no longer mobile uh, could, could uh, give an impression that the mobile app development ecosystem would be very uh, affected. However, contrary of the, all the expectations, the mobile app development industry has been playing to its strengths, reinforcing innovation and keeping the industry thriving. And to support that, let me show you some 2020-2021 data. So in 2020, the mobile adoption boomed. Um, the app store spend and the daily time spent per user grew with 20% year to year, which is really interesting. So we broke the four hour barrier in 2020. Uh, and <clears throat> This was also due to the fact that we were at home. So you can argue, one can argue, okay, you were at home, you were checking your phone more, you were spending more time on your phone, both in time and money. But the interesting fact is that this trend continued in 2021 with the same steady growth. And according to Q1 2022, consumers in 12 markets spend more than four hours, almost five hours per day on mobile apps. And in the top four, markets it's more than five hours so imagine that out of like let's say 12 hours we have in a day that we are uh, active in the top five four markets more than five hours are spent on mobile apps and that's huge uh, so the growth from q1 2019 to q1 2022 is the most mobile global economy yet and the stats show, the forecast and the stats show that this trend will continue. Uh, although first time downloads achieved their highest growth in the last five years in 2022, <clears throat> surging with 24%, uh, and this pace will slow down as the market begins recovering from the pandemic, but both the App Store and Google Play will continue to show steady year to year growth. Why is that? Well, to understand that, 
we have to uh, see the new paradigm, everything remote. Consumers are looking for different ways to manage in the current situation. And in some cases, apps provide the perfect solution. Uh, as consumers turn to their inward and settle the, in their homes, mobile has been the portal to the outside world. Uh, like, for example, in my case, in the past, I had to fly to Bucharest, attend the conference, give the speech. Now I'm in my living room talking to you uh, about how we can do everything remote. Um, and that example is very good for business app. So business app downloads spiked in the start of 2020 in the wave of lockdowns due to COVID-19. Uh, these apps saw increased adoption through the rest of the 2020 as many offices remain closed. While downloads for business apps will decline as offices reopen and in-person work returns, I expect that some of the lift and the forecast says that some of the lift will persist in 2022 and beyond because companies now rework the work environment, offering flexible and remote, remote working uh, options. And the usage of these business collaboration apps we, is poised to remain high. Uh, another sector that I, we saw a very uh, much increase in, our, in even our company is the financial app sector. The mobile financial revolution that started, uh, I think, four years ago, three, four years ago, came in two stages. And here at Cognizant Sovereign, we helped some of the big banks in these stages. The first one was the arrival of mobile uh, banking apps, which let people check balances, make transfer, organize their budget without ever visiting a branch. The second big thing was in payments. With the emergence of contactless and QR code functionality, the phone became your wallet and your bank. And like all the other industries, COVID-19 accelerated the mobile takeover of finance. Banks will no longer need huge building to operate as they will slowly transform into digital banks. No more queues because we had no queues during the lockdown and people don't wanna get back to that. But still we need to, new ways to interact with our customers. And one interesting um, trend that emerged during 2020 is chatbox, chatbots. As service providers had to quickly adapt to the lockdown situation uh, and to new ways of interacting with their customers. And of course, they turned to digital. Uh, so mobile apps with services such as banking, online shopping, food delivery, healthcare are working on incorporating chatbots as part of their, as, as part of their apps. And uh, the industry came to their rescue by developing new frameworks that I don't know, some of them are open source, that help you develop these. Well, okay, but what about online shopping or video streaming? Well, in both cases, uh, they, they, the, the industry, uh, the mobile apps in those industries searched. For example, the video streaming uh, sector, uh, the time spent in streaming apps was greatly uh, increased by uh, people forced being inside. Uh, even while, uh, and that's surprising to me, that was surprising to me because even while at home, uh, consumers turn to small screens to stream content and engage in second screening. And so TVs and movies are no longer confined to, let's say, your living room. Instead, they're on the phone. But in some countries, uh, the spike was even more remarkable than uh, that, that, that the data you show in the, in, I show in the slide. For example, Indonesians all but doubled their video streaming hours in two years, up by 93%, which is very big. Well, talking about uh, online shopping, uh, despite concerns that these apps will, uh, will have a slowdown, and the uh, order will have a slowdown following region, regional reopenings as we reopen the economy, an increase in both supply, more apps um, that offer this thing, and demand pushed the market grow further than ever. So uh, in 2021, users spent 49 more sessions year to year in food and drinks app. And that's following a 69% surge in 2020. So the trend keeps. The restaurants, restaurants might reopen in 2000, might have reopened, they actually reopened in 2021, but people decided they like to order in anyway. So <clears throat> this 
2020 situation lock with lockdowns has propelled this emerging habit for some for home delivery. For example, in March 2020, global weekly session in food and drinks app was at 1.9 billion weekly sessions. By December 2021, this has scaled to 4.4 billion sessions weekly. And also the shops. The idea that a shop is a physical building is slowly, slowly vanishing. Apps are the new stores, personalized immediately and open 24 seven. Um, in 2021, total hours spent inside shopping apps reached 100 billion hours with an average of 2 billion each week. But to understand the true impact, we can look over the three year period that was um, that we had in the, from 2018 to 2021, uh, time spent in shopping apps doubled. So that's, that's, and that's a really, really big deal. And this, I think from what we see in our community, in our company, and what we see from the data uh, in the industry, these trends and these behaviors that changed during the lockdowns will continue and the mobile ecosystem will continue to thrive. More and more uh, people adopt the mobile development, uh, especially now it's a, it's a, it's a new um, it's a new space. Uh, it's a young space, uh, ever changing. Uh, and more trends will appear. One of them, for example, it's uh, the AI. Uh, I briefly mentioned that with chatbots. Uh, I could have described more trends uh, in this presentation uh, that will emerge, but I think you get the point. Uh, and you are looking with uh, this industry with maybe a different mindset uh, because mobile apps have grown to an extent where every digital use case has a place for them. So mobile is not something like nice to have as in the past, like, okay, we have the website, which is the main focus. Now uh, let's build also the mobile app. But uh, at this rate at which mobile apps are uh, used and adopted, there is not even a single business domain that wouldn't have thought about investing or it's mandatory to invest in mobile applications. So mobile apps in conclusion remain a major economic driver and a healthy environment both for developers, investors, uh, and of course, enterprises who benefit from new ways of engaging with their customers and new, challenge, new channels. So that's what I had to uh, present you in a brief time that I had. Uh, after my talk, you will have a full day here with experts in the field who will show you tips and tricks in developing uh, mobile apps. Uh, that, as you saw, uh, you will now have a very healthy and very thriving ecosystem for them. So thank you for the invitation and good luck to all the speakers that come next. Thank you.